Hello my dear students in the previous video we studied about the crystal field splitting i explained to you this is splitting that how this is splitting takes place and the energies of the eg and t2g set of d orbitals in this video dear students i will be teaching you the filling up of electrons in the d orbitals these d orbitals splitted d orbitals but before we discuss about the filling of electron in these two set of orbitals we need to discuss about nature of ligands my dear students this splitting what i have explained about the splitting this splitting depends upon the nature of ligand there are two kind of ligands already i have explained about those ligands in my video related to the valence bond theory that is vbt i told you that ligands are of two type certain ligands are strong ligands strong ligands and certain ligands are weak ligands my dear students uh, these ligands they decide the splitting of these d orbitals strong ligands bring about maximum splitting all right weak ligands spring uh, uh, bring about a small splitting i hope it is clear means in case of strong ligands this splitting of the d orbital is more in case of weak ligands this is splitting of the d orbital is less all right now which are those strong and weak ligands uh, though i have taught you in my previous video of vbt but once again here i'll give you the list of those ligands so you can note it down you, while making notes you can note it down in your registers uh, i'm going to arrange the ligands in the increasing order of their strength that means i'll start with the weak ligand and then i will be moving towards the strong ligands in this category the first one is i minus then we have br minus then we have s2 minus then we have scn minus then we have cl minus then we have f minus then we have oh minus then we have c2o4 two minus then we have o2 minus then we have h2o then we have ncs minus then we have py py means pyridine then we have nh3 next we have cn minus and then we have co carbonyl these are the main ligands which i have listed out for you in the increasing order of their strength which means i minus is the weak most ligand and co is the strongest ligand i minus brings about the minimum splitting and co brings about the maximum splitting now after this i will be teaching you that how electrons are being filled up see a uh, filling up of the electron is governed by two energies which two energies one is cf se that is crystal field splitting energy and second is pairing energy pairing energy this is very very important my dear students uh, to understand this that this is the most important part of the crystal field theory all right Uh, dear students in case of strong ligands when we have a strong ligands at that time cfse that is delta not is greater than pairing energy all right and when we have weak ligand then delta not is lesser than pairing energy so you need to remember very well that in case of strong ligands pairing energy is less that means electrons get easily paired up in case of weak ligand pairing energy is more that means pairing of electron takes place with the difficulty that is a trick of filling up of electron here this trick you have to keep in the mind what i said for strong ligand pairing energy is less so electrons get easily paired up in case of weak ligand pairing energy is high so electron get difficulty in pairing up now suppose uh, let us discuss the filling up of electron now Uh, suppose this uh, 
particular complex where I am going to fill up the electron, it has got 6 electrons in the d orbitals. All right. So, first of all, I will discuss with you all about weak ligands. Weak ligands. What happens when weak ligands, they approach the central metal atom. Now, 6 electrons are to be filled up. Okay. Now, first, a filling up of electron takes place exactly according to Hund's rule. And you know very well what is the meaning of Hund's rule. All right. So, while filling up electron, we will keep this rule in the mind. Okay. Now, these three are of same energy set. And these two are of different energy sets. So, filling up of electron will take place first of all in this lower energy set. So, here the first electron enters first, second, third. Alright. So, three electrons I have filled up. Now, since the ligand is weak, pairing energy is large. So, pairing up of electron will not take place here. Alright. So, which means the fourth electron, where the fourth electron will go my dear students, it will go to the eg set so one electron will go here fourth then we have next fifth and our question comes where the sixth electron will go so sixth electron will come back to the t2g set and now the pairing will start so this is the situation in case of weak ligand so remember this strong ligand will have a different situation than this all right now, in case of a strong ligand, suppose a strong ligand, a strong ligand is approaching central metal atom and ion. All right. So, and suppose in d orbital, six electrons are there. Okay, d six are there. So, how the filling up of electron will take place in case of six electrons? So, dear students, just now I taught you that when we have a strong ligand, its pairing energy is less. So, keeping this in the mind, we'll see the filling up of electron. Okay. Now, first electron, second electron, third electron. Now, since in case of a strong ligand, pairing energy is lesser than CFSE delta naught. So, pairing will take place here in T2G set itself. So, it is unlike weak ligand. So, this you have to keep in the mind. So, now fourth electron, fifth electron and sixth electron. So, in case of a strong ligand, there will be no electrons in case of D6 configuration of the central metal atom in EG set. So, this point you are supposed to remember very well. Okay. Now, so when we have a strong ligand, so you can see here there are no un paired electrons in the d orbital all right that's the reason strong ligands they give rise to which kind of complexes low spin complexes okay now when we talk about weak ligands so you can see here due to uh, since pairing doesn't take place in case of weak ligand so, we have number of unpaired electrons. Since we have number of unpaired electrons, so in case of weak ligands, when ligands are weak, it gives rise to which kind of complex? High spin complex. So, these are the simple, simple tricks which you are supposed to keep in the mind. It is very easy. You will be able to do all those things if you remember these simple, simple tricks.